So I thought I'd do a video all about the free will debate, since this is something that seems to still be an argument that's, that's undertaken quite a lot in society and in philosophical circles particularly. And it seems to be something particularly that's been taken up by the new atheists. And I think Sam Harris in particular is sort of advocating a very strong stance against compatibilism and against philosophical idealism and against the notion that free will exists, that we have free will. And I am... Um, I'm doing this also in response to a video by Alex J. O'Connor, the, aka The Cosmic Skeptic on YouTube, where he's um, yet again uh, proffering this um, uh, new atheist perspective that the freedom of will doesn't exist. And I do see, sort of superficially, why there might be an advantage in a new atheist thinking this, because it's, you know, it would be just another way in which religion is wrong, right? If you take away free will, you know, then we, you know, we can attack that, the portion of Genesis in which it said that God gave us free will, and so on. <laughs> so that disproved free will, disproved religion, and yeah, like, on a superficial level, I do see the appeal in doing that, possibly. However, um, if, if you reduce human beings to well, automata, as I believe you would if you remove this notion of free will, machines almost well then machines need programming don't they you know if we're really like you know clockwork toys or something going around you know without any real agency over our own actions and that we're we're in essence programmed well then someone or something has to be programming us right surely is it a supernatural entity is it god is it a demiurge is it just the universe? In all cases, if you remove free will, well, then you have to invoke God in one form or another, like in the pantheist sense, God is the universe, or in more of a theist slash deist senses, in the sense of God being an all-powerful supernatural entity. And, you know, like, with, with the grace of the attack on free will, the more you ironically enough and paradoxically enough allow God back into the fray or like the, the more yeah that would, that would bolster the, the the position that God exists it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything to diminish it necessarily and so I think yeah particularly in, in Alex O'Connor's one of his arguments on YouTube um, he um, he made I think that the somewhat a slight blunder of bringing up this Thomas Hobbes quote where um, Thomas Hobbes is um, outlining what freedom is. So freedom or liberty signify properly the absence of opposition. By opposition I mean external impediments of motion. And he goes on to say a free man is he who by his strength and wit is able to do those things free that some of which he has a will to. And he like within just because the terms free and will are used in the same sentence, does, it does not necessarily follow that that quote is about free will at all. Not really. I mean, one of the ways in which we think about the will is that the faculty within us which, des which decides upon and initiates action. That's a quote from Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes, which is a great political text. And what he's really talking about there is political freedom liberty in the political sense, in, in the sense in which we're, we're free agents within society. That's what he's really talking about. The freedom of will is an altogether more uh, abstract form of philosophical discussion, I think. And if we're thinking about the will as that faculty within us which decides upon and initiates action, well, I mean, someone in prison, they still have free will. If you're in a prison cell, well, and, and you and you will, you know, you wish to be released, or you wish for a toilet made out of solid gold, or whatever it happens to be, yeah, yeah, you, you're absolutely free to to will for that and to wish it, and um, it doesn't, of course, increase the likelihood that it's going to happen. That's the thing about it. So yeah, we have free will. We have the the power within us to decide upon and initiate action and to wish, want, and desire. Absol in an absolute sense, I think, more or less.
But, um, yeah, we can't do as we please. Of course. You know, so um, an example of willing freely would be, um, I think, you know, this slightly childish thing that people might engage in from time to time. And, like, what I have engaged in this before occasionally, where you just sort of, um, you concentrate on something like, so it's light, which isn't funny, like, your hand, like, trying to levitate it and, like, trying to test the hypothesis of whether or not you're a Jedi secretly and this sort of thing and yeah that's an example of willing for something to happen and yes i'm free to will for that but it's not going to make it happen it's not going to increase the likelihood of that happening so yeah i mean that's that's my position on, on the freedom of will is like yes determinism however in the compatibilist sense determinism the fact that we live in a, in a deterministic universe does not impact the freedom of the will per se it it um the, yeah free will is compatible with determinism so yeah the, the deterministic the universe limits our ability to act in all sorts of ways such as me not being able to levitate this thing such as for instance if i'm in prison my not being able to escape unless i manage to escape somehow um and in any situations, me not having that fucking toilet made out of solid gold, which I've been willing for for years. But, um, and which I would, of course, just sell if I had one, because I'm not an idiot who needs to shit into a toilet made out of solid gold. But yeah, no, we have free will. We do. Yeah. God-given or no. But, um, and the, yeah, the point is, and new atheists may not like hear the, hearing this so much, that, with the freedom of will, God may or may not exist, let's say. But without the freedom of will, God or something like God would need to exist. That's more like the point, I think. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Bye, bye, bye. I love you lots. And have, a, have fun out there and be safe and be kind to one another. Thank you.